Hello, I'm Barry Zivan, and I'm the chair of the Veterans Committee for the AFL-CIO Retirees Council. We're going to read to you a lot about honor flights. And um, on April 10th of 2017, Honor Flight Northland Duluth took its 10th flight with 85 World War II, Korean, and Vietnam veterans. On May 6, 2017, and by the way, I am a Korean veteran, uh, May 6th of 2017, Honor Flight Twin Cities took its 17th flight with 78 World War II and Korean veterans. And coming up on September 30th, 2017, uh, Honor uh, Flight Twin Cities has scheduled its 18th flight. As of May 19th, 2017, there were 257 flights nationwide that have taken place or are scheduled for 2017, April through November, giving approximately another 20,000 veterans a chance to see their memorials this year. 2017, 42 states, 130 hubs, total veterans transported in 2015, 20,886. Total veterans transported 2005 to 2015, 159,703. Total guardians 2015, 19,093. Total guardians 2005 to 2015, 107,527. Veterans currently on the waiting list, including yours truly, uh, 21,032, 20% World War II, 44% Korean, and 36% 36 uh, 36 Vietnamese. There were approximately 240 flights nationwide in 2016, actual totals not yet available. For Honor Flight Twin Cities, it's care of Jerry Kaiser at 2674 McCubbin Street in Roseville, and um, uh, his uh, email address is www, or rather website I should say, www.honorflightstwincities.org. And uh, flight number 17 was May 6, 2017. It was filled, and the Korean, uh, uh, rather the flight 18, on September 30th, 2017, uh, coming up, if you're seeing this before September 30th, uh, World War II veterans and terminally ill given priority, 200 plus Korean War veterans are on the waiting list. And for Honor Flight Northland, it's uh, www.honorflightnorthland.org. And um, we do have some more to tell you. <laughs> We're shuffling papers here. Yes, um, also for your information, wreaths across America had 40,000 volunteers place 250,000 wreaths at Arlington National Cemetery on December 17th. Wreaths for the Fallen had 100 volunteers place 4,700 wreaths at the State Veterans Cemetery at Little Falls on December 17th. Wreaths were placed at Fort, Smel Fort Snelling on December 17th, but uh, uh, the figures uh, are not available. And by the way, I have to thank Cheryl Jones on my committee for all this wonderful information. Cheryl Jones, Larry Chadwick, Dottie Danley, and Bob Meyer are the committee with yours truly chairing. But thanks to Cheryl, uh, we would have had nothing had she not sent me all this great information. So thank you so very much. Uh, the wreath programs have gotten larger every year. Quite impressive honor for our veterans. And um, the total veterans transported in 2015 I think I did mention this. Yes, I did. I think uh, the report is complete, but um, there is also a, uh, uh, we've been featured in local news in the Duluth News Tribune, uh, the 10th Honor Flight for Northland Vets set for April, and that was on December 7th, 2016. And this is the, uh, the uh, article from the Duluth News Tribune. So thank you very much for allowing me to make this presentation.